GG. Thank you very much. That was not a telephone pole. That was just some random sign. Could you possibly start the next geo research triangulation pool? Geo research triangulation. Let's have a look. game is the same as spin tires in what way is it the same as spin tires the engine you do know it's from the same devs right like literally the same publisher who bought the rights to spin tires I mean I don't know how much you know of the history of the game it's not like a rip-off of it. <laughs> it is. Uh, that should be out tomorrow, Daniel, I think. Episode 4. Yeah, I thought I'd break up the SnowRunner with some train sim today. Say pups is near there, so let's just go back. Man, that crane is useful. Very useful. GG. What's next? So you did that when I was in the garage, so I don't know what the pop-up was. I just hope I got money for it. I don't know if I did. What PC components are stopping you flying? My hard drive. The hard drive with all my flights and stuff on it. How long have you had the pre-release of SnowRunner? Uh, they sent me a keys about six days before release, I think it was. Tom, are you doing that barrel one? I am. <clears throat> are you about to hand in, though? Well, I'm just, I have one of the barrels back on the trailer, and I'm trying to get the second one back up on it. Oh, did it tip? Yeah, I had to go and rescue him. I didn't Got see you. nothing. <laughs> I was wondering how much better would you think this is compared to Mudrunner? Um... How can you put it? Simplistically, there's just way more to do. Like... In Mudrunner and Spin Tires, it was all about moving logs. In this, there are multi-part jobs, there are dependent jobs. There are jobs to move oil, cement, bricks, metal, trailers, recover vehicles. There's just so many things to do compared to Mudrunner. It's like the, it's like the same end, basic engine game and then just way more to do in three regions. One of which brings in snow and ice for the first time. Why did you get it so early? So, LCD, what they do, what developers and publishers do quite often is with YouTubers and streamers, they send them keys early so that they can make videos ahead of time and then say, you can release videos on this day. So, with the embargo for us, for this, the embargo was Friday, 11pm UK time. So, at 11pm UK time, 
my first video came out. But I had the game a few days before, so you can record it. And they do that because they want marketing from you. Yeah, they want you to show the game so that people look at it and go, Oh, that's a nice game. I think I'll get that. It's kind of part of what I do. Uh, just checked and you got the money for the task one in the garage. Thank you, dude. Was it Monday? I thought it was Friday. What day are we on? I can't remember. <laughs> was it Monday 11? It might be Monday. The game released on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, it was Monday, wasn't it? We hmm. recorded on Monday, didn't we? No, when did my first video go out? The first look? Tuesday. Tuesday. The first look video went out Monday night, sorry. Yeah, so it was Monday at 11, not Friday. Yeah, yeah, Monday at yeah. 11, not so, Friday. So I think they sent me the keys about Wednesday, Thursday, if I remember. Um, can you afford one of the daddy trucks now, Paul? Um, the only way I can do it is to sell the vehicle that Tom's using, otherwise I can't now. Okay, no worries. Like, when he can afford his own truck, I can sell that one and get a bigger truck. We don't know when the embargo list for flight sim. No idea. Yeah, Blade, definitely a lot of fun, my man. Definitely a lot of fun. Okay, so, pups... Sammy, yep. what are we doing? Um, I'm doing the scan and research point. I'm doing the scan and triangulation things, but I'm in the quarry, so I'm nowhere near you guys. Okay, we need to do service hub recovery then, which is a fuel carrier trailer delivery. Which is in the quarry. Yeah. But do we need to buy I a fuel carrier trailer? No, that trailer is with me in this map. Oh, okay. Um, Pups, there is a mission called Fallen Bricks where you go over to the homestead, crane some bricks and drop them off. So you just need a truck with a crane. I don't know if you want to do that one. I can do that. Because we're kind of into just single jobs at the moment, I think. Happy yeah. anniversary, Natalie. Right, I'll do the... I'll take that one, service hub recovery, and... Jump to... Quarry. I would recommend you take the gateway to the north... West. Is there no garage in the... Quarry? Um, I don't know. I've unlocked one watchtower. I can't see a garage currently. I don't believe there is because on the global map... Oh, there is a garage logo. So there is a garage somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. So you could... There is a... I dragged a... Um, oh, hang on. I think I've got a scout vehicle with me in the quarry. So whether you could hop to that and have a run around or... Yeah, I can do that. Uh, Mr. Creeper, thank you for 13 months. Right, stop the engine. Where's the scout vehicle? Go to the quarry and then can you not see it? No, it says there's three trailers, but it doesn't say there's a truck I can jump into. There's a Khan Marshal, but it's grayed uh, out. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, if you're near it, Sammy, he could just jump to your truck. Well, I, I think that's your Khan Marshal. Mine? No pupses. Mine's in my garage. Are you sure? Yeah, I haven't even been to the quarry. The concern yeah, with flight sim is here. how much PC power and internet it will require. It may end up being rich to rich my blood. We don't know yet. I mean, they're fully aware of that. Um, 
they have said they want it to work in an offline mode, so you can so. you can download content over the internet and then play it no, offline. So it's not it doesn't have to be live on the internet for downloading for streaming so map footage. Is it in your garage? Well, yeah, as for the PC power, garage, yeah. So that's another one. It's probably going to be quite mm. taxing to make it look amazing, but presumably you'll be able to dial the settings back. Void Speedy, thank you, 37. All right, so I'll basically drive down here. In my truck. I've Wait. got a scout vehicle you could borrow, Paul. Well, I can't get in it, can I? So no, I'll just... You... I'll spawn on my scout truck and drive down there. Oh, you've got a scout one, have you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get the scout. The the monster 4x4. Four four. No, I don't have any referral codes. Engine. Welcome back. Gearbox, suspension. Tires. Seven and a half grand for the extended scout winch. The high power scout winch, ten grand. A high power scout winch setup, extended motor pull strength makes it more viable on heavier scouts. Hmm. A roof rack, which we can't get yet. Got that unlocked. $600 for some side foot footsteps. <laughs> Let's do it. Cosmetic. That looks awesome. We'll have one of them. Let's go. Get the autonomous winch, why? I didn't see any roof lights. Uh, yes you do, Gibson. So when you hand it, when you do any missions in the game, uh, in a multiplayer, all of you get the money, all of you get the XP. The main difference is only like all the vehicles that you find on the map, the host owns them. So if you find trailers on the map, only the host can sell them. They belong to, to the host. Um, but apart from that, you get all the XP and money. You need to go to the north gate. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see a, um, a roof light. Allows you to use a winch even if your car is flipped. Gotcha. What that one? A low strength winch with a dedicated battery unit. Not as powerful, but can operate when the vehicle's engine is turned off or stalled. Your multiplayer partners are contractors. Kind of, they're, but they're benefiting as well, right? Like if you join somebody's multiplayer, you're going to get all the money and XP that they are. The, bright, the lights are pretty bright, though, aren't they? Look. I think we'll be fine. So we want the north quarry entrance, which is this one. Okay, so if we head for this, and then... Through the... Get to the fuel station... Level 11. Ding, ding. Wait, that means I can put better tires on my truck, I think. You can sell your M extra inventory not installed, like your X1, X2 items. That can help rebuild your bank account. Thing is, I've got, like, 
80, 90 grand invested in the truck that Tom's in. So when he doesn't need it, I can just sell that and get my money back. This thing's a lot of fun. And it's really quick when it gets going. Um, but it does have a tendency to... Why would it... Why is it telling me to go to that one? It's specifically telling me to go to the, the southern entrance. Yeah, it can easily flip over this thing if you're not careful. Welcome back. Trucker Charlie, welcome back. Wait, I just went past... A massive floating rock. <laughs> what the heck? What is going on? <laughs> I feel like I just fell into holes that don't exist. Uh, Factorio is just pure addiction. This is basically just a lot of fun. I, I think you can enjoy this game, but I can't see myself getting addicted like Factorio can do. Battle Rabbit, what? You've just been formally offered a job at Square Enix. Nice, dude. What have you applied for? What the heck? What? I feel like there's something very wrong with this map right now. I've got branches and rocks floating in the air and I'm hitting invisible things. Um... Right. Okay. Why is the winch not working? Like, there's just weird craters I going do on. Two tasks in one go here. Where on earth did that hole come from? Why is this road so boggy? You got attacked by Russian roads. Yeah. Good call on that winch. <laughs> Without that winch, I'd have been a bit stuck. Did you see that? There's something very wrong here. There you go, it's just done it again. I'm telling you, there's something broken here. Like, I'm going into ridges that I can't even see, and there's rocks floating. Doing the same for me. Things on the most part seem okay for me at the moment, though. Yeah, but you're in a new location, so nobody else has been there and trashed the map. You remember how in the old Mud Runner, um, you couldn't see other people's tracks and stuff like that? It feels like in this yeah. you can, but it's going wrong somewhere. Yeah, but aren't you on, like, a tarmac road? Yeah, it kind of looks that way, but it's not. Another restart, potentially. Maybe it was just that stretch, we'll see. I 
I don't know what hit my engine. I think there was like an invisible rock hit my engine. Cup of tea. The scout is very glitchy. Mine does the same. It's stop using it. So you reckon it's the truck then? Interesting. I think I'm going to stay near these trees just in case. I've got the snorkel, I'm okay. We just got the truck washed, I know, right? Water? We don't care about water. His pup's having a kebab, I reckon. I reckon he's got a Friday night kebab. No, I'm not having a kebab. No, but you want a kebab now, don't you, pups? You want a kebab. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no to a kebab. <laughs> You will not stop thinking about a kebab. You know me too well, Paul, because that's going to be on my mind all night now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit skiddy on the brakes. Why do people in the UK like kebab so much? Dude, people in the UK love takeaways. Full stop. Chips and fish. Get a curry, some Chinese. They just love eating takeaway. That's all there is. Right. Straight down the road. Straight through the gateway. Let's go. I don't think I could eat a, a kebab like every day or every other day. I just can't see that happening. Is it, I never knew that, Baz. Oh, I haven't said that. Thinking about it, when I was in Cologne and Berlin, you can get a kebab very easily. <laughs> I think me and Dirk went and got a nice kebab takeaway in Berlin. Was that what? Well, you got the curry first. Um, to be honest, I've had a curry first every time I've gone to Germany. Cologne, I had one. Berlin, Munich. Basically every time. Lost Light Trailer, nice. <laughs> Travel to the quarry, here we go. Welcome to the quarry. I'm not skipping the scene. Is that in the game? That plane flying overhead, or is that outside my house? Because that's really weird. 
That really does sound like a plane flying over. No, it's in the game. That's nuts. So what's the best thing to do here to try and just get the watchtowers to try and find out where the garage is? Assuming there that is one. Like, that's the hope, yeah. Are there, I think there's definitely a garage. You just need to find it. Hmm. So there's a gateway there. That's a fuel station. That's possibly crossable, I reckon. All right, let's go like that for starters. I swear every time I reach out and get damage. <laughs> There's a car icon thing in the dark on the top right hand side of the map. Were you seeing this? You sure that wasn't just my car that I just drove from here? Like in this tarmite road. Yeah, it compensates of lack of mud with... Uh-oh. Clearing the way. An old communication tower has collapsed and blocked part of the road. Clearing the rubble is going to need some special equipment. Can you get it? Details. Uh, we need two metal planks to the quarry plus. Can you get them in the quarry, or do they have to come from another map? Um, Click where it says, yeah, you can't, no. Yeah. What? If you could drag them through the north entrance, you would be able to drive them straight there. I think it means metal girders, Wyland. I think it's a translation problem. Well, there's a job for you if you fancy it. Yeah. See if I can find some metal planks. I think they put an invisible wall here. You scumbags. Well, I can't scout that way. There is an alternative route. If we go back, we can kind of do this. In fact, there's a way down that river, isn't there? If we can get that way, maybe. Recalculating route. <laughs> I 
So this map pool that you just left is definitely doing weird things and black holes just to keep peering in front of me. Yep. That sounds like what I got. That looks quite muddy, doesn't it? Look at that. YOLO. Wow, this... Look at that quarry. I need to go and have a look at this. That's pretty cool. So look at the draw distance on that compared to Mud Runner. That's really good. Do you remember how many metal you needed, Paul? Two. 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 You sure it was two? You need two, two metal. Tom can confirm. No, Tom's asleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just sad because I'm stranded. See how doable I'm this in is. Squirrel's truck. It's got 35 liters left, and Oof. I cannot recover to my own vehicle. It's not on the list. <laughs> I can recover it for you if you need me to. Yeah, but I can't get out of it. <laughs> you just click on the garage to jump out of it. So if you go see a map and then click on garage, it'll put you in the garage, and then I can spawn in the truck. Is that what you need, need me to do? Yes, oh. I'm in the garage now. The question is, what happened to my truck? I don't the think game you spawned it since you joined it, it have So, me, you know that new place you just went? Is there a garage there? Uh, not yet. Okay. Paul's working on it. I mean, I'm trying to. I've done Whoa. three out of six watchtowers, but I'm not in the best vehicle for it just because I'm happy to be driving past them that I did them, sort of thing. So. I just spawned into it and it says it's got 250 litres of fuel, interestingly. Anyway, so I'll just recover it, yeah? <laughs> Sure. Well, I mean, I was towing that truck. I found that uh, Jeep or whatever it is. I was towing it back to the... But I don't know. Okay, you can spawn in it now. It, it is a bit like Finland, isn't it? This bit of the map. Oh, this thing is so bouncy. You're welcome. Thank you. GG. 9,900. Noise. Yeah, see what you, you've been doing all these little tiny missions, and I'm doing the big work, but dad work. See, I'm doing dad work. You want dad tax now? Yeah, I'm gonna have dad tax off you, Paul. I'm gonna claim some dad tax. 
I'm gonna so so end up flipping backwards here. Um. Oh, as if there's more triangulation stuff to do. Whatever. <laughs> Can I get through there? There's an upgrade here. If we can get back down the hill. When you do a mission, everybody gets the money, everybody gets the XP. You all benefit. Yeah. What? Ah, uh, okay, right, so there's a garage in the next map over and we've got to take fuel and concrete slabs to it. So I wonder... Like, if you look at the regional overview, it says... Like, if you look at Drowned Lands, there's a garage opened. If you look at the quarry, there's, like, a garage with a cross through it. And if you look at Zinogorsk, it's the same. What's the summary? So I think there is a garage on this map somewhere. But the worrying thing is, is if you've unlocked like the whole north is unlocked at the moment so the only there's only two watchtowers left tuned and custom suspension obtained for which truck for the tuz 166 whatever that is <laughs> whatever that is um could you um okay you know. hang on yeah could you possibly start the geological research under tagger oil please We'll take it. Geological research. All right, it's the Dolan Pip Pippa. Stop it. It's going to be the Dolan Pippa show. Let me get some uh, snacks here. Yeah, each player has their own money and XP, but you you but you all get rewarded when when somebody completes a mission because it's co-op. It's the definition of co-op. Right, who's coming on first? Lord Doyle, it is. Come on, pal. Oh, help you get. He's a bit of a bit of a damp dog, aren't you? Bit of a damp dog smell. There we go. I can't turn off the engine. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> so nothing but rain all day, eh, Don? Gastus, I don't know how you could call it pay to win. That's weird. Two more, Doyle. Two more. That's one. That's one. There you go. Thanks for popping in, smelly dog. Hey, Pip. Where are you? Come on, Pip. Come on, girl. Come on. Welcome back. There we go. Do 
She's looking very, very hairy right now. She so desperately needs a haircut. It's funny. Uh, Mr. Ronka. Mr. Ronka, thank you. Oh, great. Thank you for 11 months. Uh, Creeper, thank you for 13. And Void Speedy, 37. Thank you, guys. Dave, honestly, Pepper really does need a shave. <laughs> she really does. She's like a sheepdog that needs cutting in spring but hasn't been cut. She looks like she's got a rug on. She's going to get so warm in summer. There you go. I say you're all done. You're all done. No more. No. No more. No, you're all done. You're all done. Come on, let's put you down. You've had yours, pal. You're not getting seconds. I think it is. Were you getting trying to eat the remains of my sandwich. The fun fact, Sammy, you can't actually get steel on this map. You have to get it from the third one. Oh, yeah, got that. Right. Let's get out of here and go and do these other ones. So I'm just going to drive over there in my truck. And you can't unlock the garage until you've brought some stuff from the other one as well, so... Yeah. I'm over... I'm, I'm on my way with my flatbed, so I'll be able to give you a hand. Well, don't you think you ought to bring... try and bring the stuff for the actual garage? Which is... Oh, um, hang on, let me just park somewhere. Oh, there is a truck here. The, oh, the Dan 9632. Oh, I've seen that. That's quite a good truck, that. That just needs fuel in it. Lost in the Woods mission. You don't think it's normal as pay to win, but reviews I've seen, they call it pay to win because he didn't get the DLC with his free game and then trashed it. Uh, well, I'm just up the road from that, but I don't know whether... Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, Gastus, that somebody like that so what do we need for their the opinion's garage? not so worth so it so the garage we need two concrete slabs and one fuel which both can be taken from Welcome the quarry back. to Zinegorsk. Right, so if i drive to the quarry then pick them up from the quarry and then drive them for across yeah yeah but i mean whether you want to bring a small flatbed trailer with it or bring tom with you i have no idea what tom is doing he's right behind you or pretty close um, and Paul, can you possibly start the other oil rig restoration mission, please? Sorry. Oil rig restoration mission. Happy anniversary. Uh, Captain Flit, thank you for 50 months. Bullseye. This number definitely goes up faster and faster. Jones, thank you for gifting us some to Dreshon. Welcome back, Dreshon. Welcome back. The Dan's a missile launcher truck. Oh, it does look good. It is big. I am curious to get that one. Or at least we know where it is now. I just took 36 damage for from hitting a floating boulder. <laughs> yeah, Paul, down at the trailer store, there's a little scout fuel bowser that you could perhaps go and hook up to. Oh, no, you can't. You've got a car and it won't let you... Damn, Happy never mind. Anniversary, Nutter. Yeah, that's not happening. Not in this thing. It doesn't have any hook, I don't think. Well, it does, but the spare wheel's in the way, so you can't actually use it. Yay. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, I'm using a controller. Uh, Sean Vines, thank you for two years. Happy anniversary. Uh, did they tell you what the first DLC will be? No, that's not information that's been released. Maybe they'll kind of go the way of... Was it Mudrunner when it had a, the first map DLC was a free one? Maybe they'll do that. Uh, 
I thought they'd already confirmed what the first they did. set of releases was. I posted was. it in Discord. What was it? Uh, two seconds. One, two, three. I see a squirrel in the distance. No, you don't. He's running away. <laughs> that spotter plane's flying over again. So, season pass owners get new vehicles, new skins, new exclusive interiors in the winter region, which I cannot pronounce. Um, free for everyone is a new map called the Rift. Vehicle skins and interior items, map and interior modding tools, extreme cargo add on, a new mission. When's that coming out? No idea. In the video they did that they put out on their YouTube to do with the season pass, they said like three weeks after release or something. So the thing is, how can it be paid to win? What, what exactly are you winning? <laughs> it's not a competitive game. Wait, did someone say this game's pay to win? Yeah, that's what Gaster was saying. There was what? one reviewer who got the key for free but didn't get the DLC and then called it all pay to, pay to win. Okay. You'd revoke his copy, right? Yeah, but that person would then kick off about censorship and wine, wine, wine. You just give them more ammunition. Mm. One person against the whole publisher. Good luck. I feel like this map is not as muddy, but it's a lot more rocky and bouncy. This looks like it's going to be fun, Tom. I'm behind you. Yeah. Alright, we're going over some rickety bridge. So, for reference, A3C looks like it's fuel. I'm sure it's not actually A3C, and I'm just butchering Russian in an English accent. Uh, you can use a wheel if you want to. Use keyboard or controller. Some people think DLC is pay to win. That's just not. Uh, yeah, this is the second section of the Russian map. The quarry. I'm trying to scout the watchtower so we can find the garage. Once we find the garage, we can teleport vehicles there. Some of these roads, man. If you was to bring, if you was to bring a truck with a trailer down some of these roads, I don't think you'd make it. They are really. They're not even a road. They're more like a forest walk. Level 12. Thank you. Ooh. Still don't see a garage. Well, it's either the last one or there, doesn't, there isn't one on this map. Yep. Hmm, can't see a thing this way. I have 50 litres of fuel left. Oh, 
Welcome to the quarry. <laughs> Why, thank you. Yeah, their hands are ridiculous. They really are. Uh, the last two hours of Michigan have no garage, by the way. It's quite a run getting work out there. Interesting. That's good to know. Like, having no garage presents a real issue. You, you're going to have to station some mobile fueling and repair, but... Then you've got the tediousness of basically not being able to recover vehicles. Because you've got to recover them back to a completely different garage. Welcome to the quarry. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you guys can join me finally. Okay, um, let's go this way. It looks like a dead end, though. Yeah, you can hear the cuckoo bird from My Summer Car. You can hear it in this game. Puppy. Because let's face it, cuckoos sound the same. Did you just pick up a field trailer? Yep. Right, okay, never mind. It's the service hub recovery thing. Yeah, I was about... 10 meters away from where it needed to go and it despawned off the back of my truck and ended up on yours. Uh, <laughs> it was... Okay. What? It, I, I couldn't attach to it because I've got the seismic vibrator on the back, so I was just towing it with a winch cable, oh, so that's I probably a pain. didn't show that I was attached to it, but... I was going to say, I came, I came down the hill and nearly drove into the thing. No, so... It wasn't actually there, but yeah. Never mind. Oh. Um... I'll go back to doing what I was doing then. I'll leave that with you. <laughs> what? Man, this is real forest road. So what do you need me to do? You need to carry on driving, um, Tom, and get to the other side to get to the next map over. So you Russia can got no mercy. Back to open up that road I feel the like the challenge of this map is not mud or water, or snow. It's just brutal, uneven terrain. Pass on the right, Sean. I can imagine heavy yeah. stuff getting beached and me, stuck so all day long. You're overtake me, so you might as well just do it while I know where you are. <laughs> so just do north? Um, you have to take... So you see the road that me and... Rock Parker hard on? like a quarry. Yeah. You have to, So, the clearing the way is blocking your path. So you can literally go down that dirt track in front of you, to the right, take the first left, and then join back up with the dirt track to get back to the tarmac road, and drive in uh, Zinigors, if that makes sense. Phew. I don't see a garage. I don't see a garage either. Confirmed. I don't think there so... is one. Either there is one and we've got to unlock it. So, without a garage, it's going to be... A, I mean, look how big this map is, and it is not even terrain either. It's going to be very hard to get anything around here. Well, I know there's definitely a map... There's a garage in Welcome the next map back. over, and it's pretty close to the teleport, the court, the, the entrances. Zemdegorsk. Yeah, but if you look at the shape of this, it's like a long column, isn't it? And so you, yeah. you come in at the top, and then you're going to have to drive down to the bottom. I wonder if I can cut through those trees. Oh, night time's coming as well. Not good. Um, <laughs> the trees are doing a Gandalf. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, this suddenly seems like a bad idea.
I can't see a thing. If I'm third person, I can't see anything. If I'm first person, I can't see anything. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so I wonder whether that service hub will eventually turn into a garage. It could do. Or maybe not. Why would it turn not into a garage? Forward. No, it'll just be like, you know, like there's a service hub in the middle of the other map in Drowned Lands. I think it's just going to be like that. So at least you have got somewhere to repair and refuel. So I need to pick up two concrete slabs from somewhere. Well, you, if you still do the metal planks for Tom, maybe I don't uh, know. Maple Beacon, thank you for five months. The, the, main Puritan. That needs three vehicle spares. You have snow run. It's awesome. Well, Thanks for twenty-five. From Drowned Lands, I think. On the first DLC, we'll have snow in Russia, and there'll be a search for a lost warplane. Nice. Honestly, though, I think the modding is where it's at when the map mods get a hold of this game imagine what kind of missions they're going to create a tuned custom for the don 71 Whatever that is. Oh, that is some nice scenery. No good teens. What a name. <laughs> A bunch of youngsters have decided to spend the evening out in the country. Lord knows what they got up to, but they ran out of gas and left their truck stranded. Refuel it and tow it to the service hub. Scout fuel carrier. What's that all about? So wow. I'm supposed to go off the map here. Have you yeah. seen where that is? That looks like it's in the middle I of a trench. Like and what am I getting? Um, hopefully when you get to the other side, you'll find... Um, hang on, let me just find it. The task is to have a look at that. Way, isn't it? Two metal planks. Hook up and bring back to the car. You can only carry one at a time. I don't think I can hook up with this thing. I could winch it, maybe. But I can't hook it up because I've got the spare wheel on the back. Oh, this terrain's disgusting. Brem Gaming, thank you for 55 months. Big muddy hype. You can pull that car. Okay. Over this? <laughs> Remember to refuel if you can the fuel trailer. If it's got fuel in it, that would be great. I want to see this shipwreck. left the quarry you're gonna need a bigger truck to pull the ship out yeah that's pretty cool
Uh, Armani, I'll ask Pumps for you. Pumps, can you read Armani's comment? Yeah. You have to go to the place to activate the mission first. I believe it's at the farm. It's opposite the farm, next to where a yeah. fuel tanker is. And then you have to drive up there. So, if you've got two vehicles, leave one at the top of the hill and go and get the other one. New trailer discovered. Scout fuel carrier. That is a nice fuel trailer. I like that. I can see that coming in real handy. Let's see what it does. It looks like you it's got fuel. fuel out of it as well, but I don't think you can hook up to it full. It's nice having it though, isn't it? Oh yeah. Isn't there a codec in this game somewhere? Never mind, got it. Nice, I've just refueled here. Sweet. Yeah, you see there's no option to attach. All you can do is attach a winch. So I can winch to it. But I can't actually attach to it. So I'm kind of dragging it on a cable. Which is eminently unsafe. Anyone near me? You can buy one at the trailer store. Well, maybe we can now. We've got it unlocked. I bet no. <laughs> so there's a whole lot of empty space over here that makes me think there's stuff going on over there. Be Just very careful. A Why? Problem time. Just a little one. Is this road not suspicious? It just goes there and there's nothing here. But it's in the shade. Like it's not covered by a watchtower. For all we know, there could be a garage right here. Well, I'm going to try and drag it to the nearest road, but you've seen the terrain, right? And there aren't really any roads around here anyway. Okay. Because the problem is with holding it with a winch is I can't actually winch onto anything else. This is a danger. Yeah, if I hadn't have taken the, the spare wheel on the back, I think it'd have been fine. What's annoying is you can't, in the field, just throw away a spare wheel and get the ability to winch, you know? Uh, this doesn't look good. Sammy, are you coming back on the map? I'm trying to figure out what trailer I need. Oh. For an oversized cargo times one. Uh, Mickey Learjet. 
Enjoy your food. You See you tomorrow. Trailer. Back at 12 tomorrow, Mickey. Well, no, because it doesn't tell me like, like a saddle high is required. Is anybody on a million peanuts? Um, I imagine somebody's probably very close to a million. Oh, God. Oh, we've tipped the trailer. No, it's back on its wheels. Yeah, but I've seen people on 600k not long ago, so there must be somebody coming up to a mill. Snow runner all weekend, Daniel. Wait, what's that? Rectangle. Oh, that's a teenage thing. Tom, is there any way you can go back through that gateway and come and pull me on my wheels? Sure. Hmm. I'm so not hanging off the edge of a clock crawry right now. I honestly don't fancy my chances of getting this back to the road, but I'm going to try. see a thing. I can hear wolves howling. Hang on, let's calm down. There you go. The wolves eat squirrels. Uh, most likely, yeah. <laughs> Trouble is they can't catch them. Ha ha ha. I think I'm back on the dirt track. We'll see about that. <laughs> uh, for some reason, the DLC Scout does not hook up to the Scout trailers even without a spare tire. Oh, interesting. So that sounds like a, a bug then, or maybe an intentional feature. A very annoying one for a DLC, I would suggest. Imagine buying a, a car like this, a scout vehicle, and to find out it can't hook up to the scout trailer. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drop this thing off here. And we're going to have a quick check down the southeast. Probably balance out the fact that it can seemingly go anywhere effortlessly. Possibly. <laughs> Mother Russia, squirrels eat wolves and bears. Lol. Russian squirrels strong. <laughs> I 
Oh, that looks like a fallen tree. That's a trap. That's a very muddy trap. That's what that is. Oh, look, there's a tree here. Why don't you go left? I don't think there's a garage here. To be honest What's with you, way for me to get to you, puppies? even if there is a garage here, right? Which I don't think there is. But even if there was a garage here, you wouldn't get anything out of here. Although there is a um, yellow box. That's a timed mission. Wait, there's another gateway down here to the Drowned Lands. Look at that. Scouted it. Yeah. Go back on to the main road, Tom, and go up to the next dirt road, and then go left. Whoa, there's and a no entry sign, it. look at that. That symbolises the edge of the map. I know, puppies. I'm just glad you haven't looked at me on the map. We know him too. Why are you in the quarry anyway? Because uh, I was trying to unlock the um, garage in the next zone and I had to go down to get concrete and that may have happened. There you go, guys. Now you've got an image of puppies. What have you just posted? <laughs> Uh. What have you posted? Nothing. No. I have chatty open. <laughs> well, there you go. That's going to be your background. Left, Tom, you can hit the road. Well, might as well go here. Yeah, if you go that the way you're going now, go straight and then you'll hit the... I think there's a clue in the name. Down. Oh, look at that beautiful scenery at night. I think there's a clue in the name here. The Drowned Lands. Gee. I wonder. Or not. Paul got a cutscene and my game crashed. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, why is this... Um... Somebody, do you unlock all the watchtowers here? This is the you're the, gone the wrong way, man. Ah, you're going this the is the southern way. entrance bank. Yeah, 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 I got confused. You're going the wrong way. Does does that make sense? So there's three yeah. entrances into into the quarry. Yep, that's fine. Well, you know we were eighteen percent at the beginning of this stream. Yeah, Tamer. We're now forty two. From 18 to 42%. Nice. So we've done another, like, 20% chunk, yeah. Also, I'm level 12 now, which is sweet. What are you on now, Tom? Uh, <laughs> not level 9. 9? Nice. Well, it's nine o'clock, so I think I'm going to call it there. Okay. Thank you for playing. It was fun. Got some good work no, done. thank you. It was very fun. Guys, that was so many Tom Sunday and Pups, and uh, that's it for today's stream. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll be back tomorrow at 12. We're going to get a lot done tomorrow. Uh, I've got two, set, two streams tomorrow. One at 12 and one at 5. So I uh, hope you can join. Uh, if not, then have a great Saturday. But yeah, we're going to do some more spin tires. Spin tires all the way this weekend. See what we can do in Russia.
And if we happen to get through Russia, we'll go into Alaska, but I'm not sure Spin we'll get through tires. Russia. Spin tires, snow hey, runner, hey. mud runner, same thing. <laughs> no, it's I said it's it's not ATS. It's gonna be snow runner all the way. Snow runner all weekend. It's the launch weekend. Technically it's still trucking. It is still trucking. I'll be in a truck, so it's still Sunday night trucking, right? Exactly. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. So uh, have a great evening, and uh, I shall catch you all tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.